You're listening to Q&A with Brittany Nicole, a subset of the Living and Leading with Emotional Intelligence podcast. Today's question comes from Mark in Sydney, Australia. Mark asks, how do you deal with judgmental people? Thank you for your question, Mark. Having been a person who was very judgmental myself, I'm going to give you an inside look into why people tend to be judgmental, some common expectations or reactions they may expect to elicit from you, and how you can address them appropriately. First things first, I'm sure you meant nothing by this. It is common for us to put adjectives before nouns, but unfortunately, what we are unknowingly doing is labeling people. So in this case, there are no judgmental people. Instead, there are people who are judgmental. I'm sorry if this comes across as nitpicky, but I think it's something for us all to be aware of and to avoid. Because when we label people this way, we're stating their current behavior as if it is a character trait or who they are. And this can make it difficult for us to empathize with them because it's somewhat dehumanizing. And finally, it can influence how that individual views themselves. So to all of you listening or viewing, just remember we are people first and our behaviors do not define us. Okay, moving forward to to answer your question. So why are people judgmental? This is often due to personal insecurities and or high expectations of themselves. How we view others is often a direct reflection of how we view ourselves. If we judge someone's body image, we are likely very critical of our own body image. If we judge someone's financial status, we likely view our financial status as an indicator of self-worth or success. So when someone is being judgmental, know that it isn't you, it's them. While it may be difficult, try not to take it personally. Secondly, and this is speaking from my own personal experience, when I was hyper judgmental and would talk down to someone or about someone else, I was hoping for one of two things to happen. Either to get that person to agree with me and join the bash fest, so to speak, or I would try to hurt their feelings to make myself feel better. And I would also justify my critical remarks by telling myself, well, they deserved it. It was their choice that they made, so they had it coming. Or that I was only just trying to help, right? When we are miserable, we tend to enjoy making other people miserable. Because then we are not alone. We've even the playing field, so to speak. And I think a lot of this is done at a subconscious level. So to answer your question... Here is how I recommend dealing with people who are being judgmental. If someone is judging you personally, don't give them the pleasure of showing them that their words are affecting you. Know that this is an insecurity on their end. And one way to show them that you really don't care is by not defending yourself. I know that seems counterintuitive, right? But the more that you defend yourself, the more they know that they're getting under your skin at least in their mind. However, if you just gently smile and say, that's interesting that you feel that way or think that way, and then you just move on, then you're showing them that you have nothing to prove to them. And the more they hound you after that, the more that you know that you're winning because they are trying their best to get a reaction out of you. And if this continues, you might say something like, wow, I see that really bothers you. Is that how you feel about yourself? Because personally, it doesn't bother me. I am perfectly content. Eventually, they'll get tired of speaking to someone they can't get a rise out of and likely move on to someone else. Now, if they're talking about someone else to you, it's wise not to get involved, even if you slightly agree with them. I have learned that lesson the hard way. While they may have instigated the attack, you can easily be the scapegoat in the future if you choose to get involved in the conversation. The best thing to do in this case is just not reply or stay completely neutral by responding like, hmm, 
That's interesting. Or you could just opt out of the conversation altogether by saying, I really don't have an opinion on the matter, or I prefer to focus on my own issues than get caught up in others, or I find it's best not to get involved when I don't know the facts. The point is just stay out of it. Don't even give them a crumb to feed on. An example of a crumb could be just saying something as a simple, oh yeah, or you're right, or I see your point. Because at that point, you've taken the bait and now you're in. So just, I recommend avoiding it altogether. So there you have it, Mark. How to handle people who are being judgmental. So a quick recap. Know that it's often a reflection of how they view themselves. So don't take it personally. Also, don't give them any indication that they are getting to you. Don't feel that you have to explain yourself. And finally, don't play into their judgment of others. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you listening or watching have a question that you would like answered on the podcast, you can text me through WhatsApp at plus one nine eight zero six seven seven one four three seven. You can find this number and the Q&A guidelines in the show notes as well. But that's all for today. Thank you for listening or watching. And until next time, Live and lead with an open heart and open mind.